welcome back to Fandom Figuration. I'm Erisi, and... Hello. What are you wearing? I am from the Metaverse. This is my disguise. Uh, you can call me Madam Chicken. <laughs> Madam Chicken? Yes, you can't know my real name. Uh, uh... For I am a Phantom Thief. And I have brought you something from the Metaverse. Uh, thanks. I bought this at a con. Hush! It came from the metaverse. Okay, well, I guess today we're going to review the Kotobukiya figure 1 8 scale Joker from Persona 5. He's flawless. All right, guys, we have Joker here, still in his box for once, because I think this box needs talked about, because it's pretty freaking incredible. Mm -hmm. So you have this giant window, of course, where you can see the figure on the front, but just the aesthetic of the box itself and design perfectly emulates the style of the game. On this side, you have just detail shots of the figure and the stand, which is also really incredible, but we'll get to that soon enough. On the back, we have another really glossy, like really fun, awesome, just pop of Joker, like extending forward, just looking like a fucking badass per usual. On this side, we have just more of the stars and the general aesthetic. It's just so cool to look at and perfectly emulates everything in the game. And then on the top, you have this really cool flap of Joker's mask I with his eyes peeking through. And you even pull this down when you're opening the figure and then there's like one final flap of his face just really close up and awesome. It's just such like a detail-oriented box and it follows so much like of the aesthetic of Persona. Yeah, it's just so awesome. It's just the cool, fun feel of the game is perfectly captured here. So Kota Bukia did not cut corners when designing mm -hmm. this. All right, so here we have Joker out of his box and he's looking absolutely freaking incredible. I think the first thing that we should, the obvious is that his pose is super freaking dynamic and cool. I love how he's lurching forward, gun in one hand, mask in the other, smirking, looking all sassy and cute. I love his expression because one of the things I loved in the parts I got to see of the game is just like the sassy look that Joker gets. Yeah. It's just like, it's so perfect <laughs> and so well sculpted. He's just gonna like smile menacingly as he shoots you in the face and like steals your heart. It's awesome. And speaking of which, his stand is super cool. It has the cracked glass with like a bullet hole in it and it says take your heart with the Phantom Thieves logo right there. And a little bit of the star detail from the box and from the game that we saw. And even in the back, it's lifted up and elevated by his actual mask it's like sort of lifting the stand up as like you know for this the counterbalance one of the most unique and interesting stands i've ever seen on a figure before yeah it's just super cool and brings the whole thing together and smartly because this is you know he has one foot and one like you know connecting himself to the stand some of these figures they have problem balancing but he has no problems at all and luckily this wasn't a figure that you put in the peg, it's just already screwed in. So you don't have to worry about leaning issues or it snapping off. It's really secure. Kota Bukia made sure that that wouldn't be a problem because, you know, I've had other figures where, you know, they have one leg down and it just sort of ends up snapping because mm -hmm. it's not secure enough. But they screwed it in, there's no fiddling with that. It's good to go. He's secured. Yeah, he's, he's great. really, really sturdy. And I love his little boots. And the, like how they're the, 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 they have the gloss going on. Yeah. His pants are like the matte color and everything. Yeah, he's, it's pops so nicely. And just the details of his jacket extending yeah, his out. His jacket's gorgeous. So pretty, billowing out. And look at that long leg, the long leg boy. <laughs> well, I just like that this has so much motion for a figure, you know? Like you can see the action. Like It's just grand. Dashing forwards, you know? It's. He's only a 1 8 scale, but he seems a lot bigger and he takes up a lot of space in a good way where he just really is really dynamic and fun. They didn't just have him standing there looking boring. Like he's moving forward, running through a palace probably, mm -hmm. shooting some people, stealing some freaking hearts, looking great. So this is an he, excellent figure. Yeah, he's absolutely gorgeous. I love him. I really like um, Kota Bokia's art effects J line that I think that I believe that he is from and also some other male characters recently have been part of that line, including the Roy Mustang that we reviewed. 
um, as well as some other figures that I own, like the Spike Spiegel. It's a really great line, and mm -hmm. I'm just so happy to see that more male figures are being made these days. Back in the olden days, when I first started collecting, yeah, like... It was only big titties. Yeah, it was only female characters. That was the only option. I'm like, we all love the big titty anime girls, but that shouldn't be the only thing on the market. There's yeah. tons of amazing video game and anime um, characters that deserve a little love, too. So. And I like that the male poses from this line are really dynamic and interesting, and they have, like, nice bases to go with them. Mm -hmm. So there's, like, you feel like you're getting a really full deal. Yeah, for what you're buying. Absolutely, you know? it just it, the personality of the characters really comes through. Yeah, and Code of Akia, I love them. They're probably my favorite figure making company. Unpopular opinion: everyone's always out here talking about Alter, but I I love Code of Akia just because they, I've never been let down by Code of Akia. Yeah, they just do good work, and they have a lot of diverse figures. They're not yeah. just a one trick pony. They make a lot of interesting stuff, and this this Joker figure is absolutely incredible and a must have for any Persona fan. Yes, I agree. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up our review. I'm back from the metaverse, of course, you know. Yeah, nice to see you again, so, It was a good trip. Stole some hearts. Killed a bitch or two. You know, it's fine. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> the Joker figure is absolutely incredible. Um, I think Code of Bukia did amazing on him, and he's super dynamic really and did. fun. I wish Code of Bukia would make all of them, honestly. Like, all the yeah, characters this... of the Phantom Thieves, because they're all great, and they all have great designs, too. They do, and they could be so dynamic and so different with each design, like, from the girls to the boys. Yeah. Because they're, they're such interesting characters, and they're all so different. Mm -hmm. so. Make them Code of Bukia! Please! You know everyone would buy it, because Persona 5's awesome. Awesome. We all yeah. love it. It's everyone, all good. It, persona in general. Everyone is yes. like, Persona! <laughs> persona! <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. We'll see you next time! Bye! Bye.